So I want to put out a little warning about uh, that we're probably going to have a spike in fakes and uh, threats to election integrity and things along those lines. I'm not saying that this is subverting the election. I, I am saying that whoever wins legitimately is the president, and I will respect that. But there's going to be a... a uh, a number of fakes that you'll see out there. We already see some. And be particularly cautious if they are affecting these swing states during the election, including especially Pennsylvania. Uh, so unless you've been living under a rock, you know that today is election day and Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are vying for the presidency. There are a rash of things like this on the internet. So this guy is theoretically trying to hit the button for Trump and somehow Harris pops up. Um, now, if that actually does happen, of course, he's going to go to his poll worker and show the poll worker what's going on. And that would be a huge red flag right there. And they will deal with whatever needs to be dealt with. But there are other fakes that have come out as well. So an American social media influencer said he was paid $100 by a pro Kremlin propagandist to post a fake video of a Haitian, of Haitian immigrants claiming to vote in the U.S. presidential election, according to CNN. The payment was one of several demands said he received from the propagandist, a registered Russian agent. And you'll see more and more like this. Just don't repost things like use discretion and judgment and try to get a sense of what's actually going on. Uh, Anton Goroshenko talks about how Russia is the most active threat, according to a joint statement by the FBI. We're going to look at that joint sta statement in just a moment. But Radio Free Europe is also chiming in. U.S. intelligence and security officials have accused Russia and Iran of ramping up cyber attacks and disinformation campaigns to sow discord as Americans head to the polls on November 5th. Okay. So let's look at this statement. This is actually from the FBI's website, a joint statement, uh, ODNI, FBI, and CISA statement. Since our statement on Friday, the IC has been observing foreign adversaries, particularly Russia, conducting additional influence operations intended to undermine public confidence in the integrity of U.S. elections and stoke divisions among Americans. Again, that's the goal. It's The goal is not necessarily... Uh, elect Donald Trump, although I think Russia would probably be happier with that, perhaps, than they would with Harris, but it, it it's too hard to determine what would happen on the other side of that. The IC expects activities will intensify through Election Day and in the coming weeks, and that foreign influence narratives will focus on swing states. Russia is the most active threat. Influence actors linked to Russia in particular, are manufacturing videos and creating fake articles to undermine the legitimacy of the election, instill fear in voters regarding the election process, and suggest Americans are using violence against each other due to political preferences. So they want Americans at war with each other. They want us to be fighting with each other. That's the whole point of what they're trying to accomplish. Now, if they can also get uh, a sympath more sympathetic president than not, that's great, but this is the primary task that they're after. These efforts risk inciting violence, including against election officials. We anticipate Russian actors will release additional manufactured content with these themes through election day and in the days and weeks after the polls close. Why? To create and generate more instant Stability. Now, Iran is also weighing in. They actually are kind of pushing a pro Kamala. And there's a reason for that because Kamala is very split. She's very kind of pro Palestine, not really supporting Israel. And so, but they're doing that also increasing the instability in the election cycle. As noted in a prior update, we have assessed that Iran has conducted malicious cyber activities to compromise former President Trump's campaign. Iran influence actors may also seek to create fake media content intended to suppress voting or stoke violence. Okay, now if you see something and you're worried about this, the FBI says uh, they encourage campaigns and election infrastructure stakeholders to report information concerning suspicious or criminal activity to their local election crime coordinators call 1-800 call fbi do something like that don't just repost things that you see on social media and inflame the situation even more because that's exactly precisely what they want to do look whoever wins tonight is going to be the president and if there were um, actual evidence, then actual evidence emerges. You don't just make basis claims and say, well, this is this was rigged or whatever. 
But we'll find out, hopefully tonight, what the results are. In the meantime, thank you for your time and your patience and forbearance and for not being becoming part of the problem, but working as an ordinary citizen to be part of the solution. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you in the next update.